previously on race. This is probably the biggest, the fastest track we're going to go to all year. And I was going, I was going, and then boom. I mean, there was nothing I could have done there. The team's got six weeks to completely tear the car apart and get ready for the second part of the year. I'm starting to remember really what I'm capable of, what I can do, and I just feel like I need to prove that to myself and everybody else that I can still do this. I can't wait to see what we have for the throwback race at Hickory. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty right there. Seeing this thing in person, it, it pops, it, it comes out at you. I mean, it is electric. It looks like and screams early 2000s Chevrolet dominance. We're gonna be racing at Hickory this week called Throwback Week. Everybody puts new numbers, new paint schemes on their car. It's like one of the biggest races for the entire racing community of the year period. Everybody has their eyes on this one. We're throwing back to Clint Boyer, and it's his 2005 Bush Series scheme. Boyer seen it on Twitter and all that, and retweeted it and all that stuff. And I was off just doing my own thing. I get back to the hotel at night, and I was like, oh. It was cool. It was very cool. Not only did the team rebuild the part of the car we already had, but they went ahead and upgraded our body, too. We moved to the newest Chevrolet Camaro body, and it looks sick. This thing should help us generate a lot more yaw and hopefully some more aerodynamic grip at some of the more high speed, high bank tracks like Dominion and more importantly for this week, Hickory. Hickory is like one of the longest running short tracks in America. It's the one that everybody wants to win. I wanna have a good showing here. The team wants to have a good showing here and everybody wants to look good doing it. Now we're luckily with GM's other brand, AC Delco. AC Delco is a global leading automotive parts brand with a proven reputation for helping to win races with quality parts. In the world of racing, AC Delco means excellence. I mean, in the 90s and early 2000s, you saw AC Delco sponsor Chevys and Victory Lane with some of the key drivers in the sport. You've got the best drivers there ever was that have driven with the AC Delco brand, going back to Dale Earnhardt Sr. and then Dale Earnhardt Jr., Kevin Harvick, Clint Boyer. All of these guys have raced for this brand and raced a scheme similar to this at one point or another. So this wrap honors the historic AC Delco brand and some of the wins and championships that came along with it. Running this scheme, this sets the bar pretty high. I'm super pumped to be representing one of the most iconic and historic brands in all of racing. We're going into practice today, but we're getting to the track a little early to, you know, meet with a few special fans, some OT crossover action. So, you know, I got to meet with the Ellis brothers today and I got to show them my car and a little bit about what we do. This is a late model stock car. Um, it's kind of like one of the final stepping stones you have before you go to the touring NASCAR level. Pretty much everybody out here is getting all kinds of looks to move up to the next level. So if you're, if you're trying to run on this tour, you're here to prove a point. It's always cool to be somebody's entry point for the world of racing. You know, be able to show off what I dedicate most of my life to. How fast do you get on this? Uh, this track will probably hit like 115, 120. Guys. What it's all about, what it takes. When y'all are able to like, you know, check somebody or like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's free, but when I get mad at somebody out here, it costs right. me a few grand. Oh, does it really? I like to fix the car or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How do you get in? Yeah, you gotta go in the window, so you gotta go right leg first, grab this bar. <laughs> Pull your left leg and then just slide on it. Oh. <laughs> there you go. We do like 15 second lap times. Shoot. There you go. Yeah, Loki is kind of too hot in here. I'm not gonna lie. God, it's hot in here. Yeah. You wanna get in? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't sure? worried about getting in. I'm worried about getting out. Okay. <laughs> if you get stuck in there, you're just gonna have to run the race for us this Hey, bro. I'll be your spotter. Hey, if you ain't first, you're last. I'm ready. They were really, really cool guys to hang out with. Um, it's just so easy to forget how young they are, considering all they've already accomplished and just how they perform under you know a lot of pressure. They don't let it stop them. 
Like, you got a game coming up, or? Yeah, we play tomorrow this weekend. Y'all playing a big school, or? Uh, nah, just little schools, but it should be a good time. Yeah, yeah, we're playing like the number 18 team in the country, number two in the state. <laughs> it's just a warm up game. Yeah, a little warm up game. You know, they're gonna be a force in the future, but it's just really cool to, you know, meet them as we're both on our way to the top. Hayden, this Camaro is so dope. Thanks, Megan. You know, I only trust my Camaro to GM certified technicians, like the ones at this dealership. They're some of the best and they're in demand and there's so many ways to become one. GM dealers actually offer specialized training to help jumpstart your career and keep it moving. If you have the drive, you can become a certified dealership tech in as little as two years with the opportunity for continued on the job training. Find out how you can become a GM world-class technician at bringusyourtalent.com. We're getting ready for the Throwback 276. This is a big event, maybe the biggest on the Cars Tour. Get it fired up, ready to roll. All right, you're all by yourself. You're all by yourself. Give me three hard laps. Keep giving me a little more, a little more. Keep hitting up on it. Start digging right there. Go ahead. You're clear. Clear my straightaway. Dig hard. Let it roll, let it roll, let it roll. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Give me one decent lap to bring it to me. All right, you can shut her down. What do I need to be shooting for lap time wise? Let me look here and see. I'm pretty sure we need about a second. Yeah, we need about a second here. I'm driving the piss out of it, but I can't really find any speed anywhere. It's just really, really slow through the corner. It's gonna be up here where it's dark. Okay. But if you come in with more angle and can pitch the car here, that's yeah. a straighter drive. And if I don't have as much wheel in it, it probably won't do that snappy thing. It that's right, does. yeah, it won't, won't, won't snap out from under you. That smoothness is gonna keep everything from getting upset. You know? Okay. Like I said, you don't have to kill it, but just kind of start rolling on it. I think I just really underestimated the car store and overestimated myself. No, no trust me, I, I, I promise you, I, I have the notes, I'm gonna bring it down, kind of split the difference on three and four and drive in deeper to three. Uh, drop deep uh, one, I'm not sure how much deeper I'll go, I'll try to get what I can, but I'm sure you're mainly gonna stay up and throw, stay up higher on entry and throttle up earlier in the center. We're gonna have to make a pretty big swing in order to get it competitive for the race. Be aggressive, qualify every lap. Let's go get it. So on that second run, we were running better than ever. Turn and go with it, looks much better. 16, two, zero, two, zero. We just put down a really, really good lap time, a competitive lap time, and I was looking for more, but all of a sudden it just, it all blew up in our faces. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Back it down, back it down. It just snaps out. I don't even remember what I said. I just remember screaming. You all right? We're gonna need a no! Damn it! All right, turn every, turn everything off. See if it'll start. Like I was so 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 upset after we hit the wall and wrecked, and like I was I was devastated because I could see through my rearview mirror just how bad the damage was. I knew it'd be a miracle if we could run one lap of the race tonight. Can't be happening. Not again. Sorry, right, brother. It's all right. Just take a breath. Calm down. We'll get you some help here. I don't think it's too bad. I'm looking at my bumper through my cockpit. I think it's pretty bad. I mean, like I, I, I was just, just really upset. Like, I mean, I was. I've never wrecked in practice, and the day before a race like that, like it's just not normal. Are we done? The biggest problem is, is the track bar is bent and the fuel cells are against the track bar. So it's not gonna be, you know, it's not gonna be safe. And I, don't beat yourself up. Don't do that. We'll get out this one one way or the other. Nobody on my team was really mad or upset or really thought I did anything all too egregious. They just thought I was, you know, running hard, doing what they asked me to. I, I just, man, like, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Oh, nothing. Nobody nobody runs this deal for their first year and doesn't get into some stuff, tear some stuff up. Like, 
you can't expect to come in the very first year and like dominate or nothing. You got to learn it. Like it's these guys are different out here. Take the good with the bad. You know, it's a learning experience there, but you run the best laps there that you probably have ever here. So, any chance of winning this race or doing well is just gone. And I really didn't care who won the race at that point because we weren't going to be in it. Then, just as I was strapping in my car, the rain started coming down. The car store was scrambling to get this thing started so they could at least keep some heat in the track and maybe get the race started. But then the bottom fell out. I have never in my life wanted it to rain at a racetrack before. I was just like, oh, I guess we could just get to delay the inevitable. But then it started raining harder and harder and harder. And then I was like, wait a minute. like. Is, is this is this really happening? They canceled the race, which is the best news possible for us. That means we got time to go home, fix the car, and get it back out here, and that means we're actually gonna to get to run in this race. Now we get to run more than two laps. We get to put this AC Delco car in the race and give it a real chance at winning. off of rain out and coming back to Hickory, I'm really excited. The team is dog tired. They had to redo the entire car in about five days. They have had no sleep, no rest, so I definitely want to run well tonight. Usually we spend a lot of time practicing for these races. Today that's not the case. We're just taking the car off the trailer, running through tech, and getting ready to run for 138 laps tonight. I'm a we were good last time here, let's do it again. Usually after a wreck, I'm kind of have my confidence shaken or whatnot, but now I'm just ready to go redeem myself a little bit, put this car where it deserves to be. It's time to get things started. All right, fire them up, fire them up. It has been six days delayed. Thank y'all so much for bearing with me. I'll make it worth it right here. Just settle in, get everything single file out, and then we'll go to work. The Honeywell Home Throwback 276. Green flag, green flag, green flag! Outside, clear, 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 clear. Another one outside, outside. Clear behind that one right there. There you go, clear all around. Yeah, our, our crew didn't get the window net put up right, um, and it fell down. Come on to pit road. Stop, stop, stop. Sometimes mistakes get made. Dig hard, dig hard, dig hard. I'm like, all right, that was too hard. You're not out of this race. Just figure out what you need to do and get back with it. Good job, you got half a track. Keep riding and making laps. Stay up on the wheel, stay tough for me. Good line right there, good line. Just stay on it. Hold on to it. No caution. No caution. It continues to rain, storm, and pour in Hayden Swank's world. Crashed this car in practice a week ago. The team had to put it back together in hurried fashion just to make the green flag. They had five days to do some work on it. And uh, unfortunately, it looks like uh, maybe didn't get everything 100% straight in that rush to completely rebuild the race car. With that early spin, I was just, after the window net fell down and I already went a lap down, I was just trying with all my might to try and to make sure I didn't get lapped again. I just tried too hard. Once we started getting lapped, it was just, just hard to keep momentum, hard to get back in the rhythm. So my mom and my brother really hadn't been to a race all year. We were good. We were good out there, and then now this is preparing you for next week. Next week, this next coming weekend. So. I really appreciate them coming out. I think they saw I was really having a tough time with this tour, have, just having a rough go of it the last month or so. So uh, just having them here to support me. It's just tough to keep the speed up once you start getting lapped. I, mean, I just had no momentum, no track position. I mean, what can you do? Ugh, this is a good question. I think Chase thinks more of me as a driver than I do. So it's always cool to have him around. You just want to sleep. You want to sleep? You just want to sleep. You want to get some food first or no? What? You want some food first? Yeah. You do? Yeah, I want some food. I want a lot of food.
Yo, Megan, what you got on? I mean, besides this video on my laptop, I'm rocking the Star Play collection. Sheesh, that's a banger. Where'd you get that? The overtime shop, duh! Just click right here and get fed like me.